Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Webster RC here. And today I'm bringing you a different video than what you're used to. Normally I'm used to doing gaming and whatnot, but today it's gonna be different. I got here a 2000 Ford Explorer XLT four wheel drive. It's got 141,000 miles on it. So I'd already done the coolant change on it, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to change it yourself. So basically what you want to do, it's pretty simple. Go ahead and pop the hood open, but mine doesn't hold up. So I'm going to go ahead and get something to hold it up with. But basically what you want to do, you want to go ahead and the main things that you want, some gloves. It's up to you if you want to get some, um, a pan to drain the coolant in, a funnel and coolant. Me, I got the pre-stone antifreeze coolant for all vehicles, next models and years. That way you can get at O'Reilly's or AutoZone for I believe about $11.99 US dollars. So got here. I'm gonna hang my hood with. Try to set it down on it. Alright. So, basically what you want to do, you want to start off by removing your coolant cap, but obviously since I filled it up, it's filled it up, so it's going to go ahead and spill. What you want to do, you want to remove it, you want to turn your car on, turn this wheel all the way to the left, and right here, see this box right here, all the way at the bottom, it's right behind the bumper on the passenger side, the front passenger side. So if you look in there, I push it forward, hold on a second. And I push it forward, you'll see there is a hole right there. Um, That's where you'll have a plastic nut that you'll have to put in, I believe a 19 millimeter socket to unbolt it. Um, mine broke, so I'll have to go and drill it out and get a new one. So I'll be working on that later on. But other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and drain it. Um, after that, what you wanna do, what I did it, cause I wasn't sure how to do it all that well. Nobody explained it in videos. So you need a, about 11, 11 liters of 1.3 liters of coolant. So, so what I did after I drained it all, I went ahead and opened the radiator cap. Go ahead and put um, 3.6 liters in and wait for it to drain, then put in the rest. And after that, what you want to do, you want to go ahead and start the car up, make sure that it's running smoothly. Um, and if it's not, also, what you want to do, you go right here to the reservoir. You want to add some right here all the way to this right here. This line is marked to show you where your coolant level should be at. So don't fill it up to the brim because this is basically for excess and whatnot. So just all the way right there to where I'm pointing at. And what I did, I let it set, sit overnight. And that's what you should do. Let it sit overnight and then check the coolant first thing in the morning or whenever the engine cools down. And if it needs more, just add more through there as well as through here. And that's about it. That's all you gotta do. And please like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on another video.